Today, I share 100 Yoro tips that will help you instantly improve. And tip 73 is a Radiance level Yoro outplay. When you're struggling to throw a unique flash with Yoru, always just look up and find the nearest building that you can throw your flash off of. If you're in a pinch and can't find a unique flash to throw, just bounce it off the wall in front of you for a nice pop flash. Depending on the length of the wall, you can also throw your flash to the walls to the side of you to completely hide the travel time and get a nice pixel flash off. Yoru's flash can bounce over most of the double stack boxes in the game, so if you look directly down and throw your flash, you can always get a nice pixel flash off. You can also use Yoru flash to throw it away from your current location to make it seem like you're playing somewhere that you're not. This one's a bit more advanced, but you can also throw one-way flashes by ground flashing around corners. One-way flashing is really effective with Yoru, so always look for boxes and things that you can hide your flash with to get nice one-ways off. You can pop flash out of smokes for a perfect pixel flash. And you can also do that same pop flash, but a little bit more at, at an angle, so it doesn't flash your teammates behind you. Swing early with Yoru flash, and peek as they turn away from it. You can Yoru clone cypher trips to get through it. Yoru's clone makes noise as if you are pushing it through a cypher cage. Use Yoru clone to trigger KJ alarm bot. Use Yoru clone to tank chambers trips. This is really good for fake pushing. You can use Yoru's clone to do fake pushes. So let's say I had it anchored outside B here, but I actually wanted to hit A. All the way across the map, I could activate it. The B players would think I'm hitting B, when in reality, I'm pushing A site. Yoru's clone makes noise in Sage's Ice. When you don't have any other teammates, playing Crossfire with your clone is really strong. You can use Yoru's clone to bait swings and catch people off guard. Use Yoru's clone to bait out lurkers. You can use Yoru's clone to send through teleporters on Bind or any map in the future that has them to fake the noise. With Yoru's teleport, whatever direction you're facing before you TP, you will come out of the TP facing that same direction. Before you take Yoru's teleport, make sure you're looking away from your flash before you take it. Cutting through. The best time to TP with Yoru is right as your flash is coming in contact with the surface. Time to jump. This combo is a bit more advanced, but you can actually TP right before your flash hits the surface to go for a better timing window. When you're doing your flash TP, always try to get the most value out of your flash, whether it's a one-way, a high flash, or a pixel perfect one. Just make sure you're getting really good value out of it. You can bait Gekka ult by TPing away at the very last second and still being safe while detained. You can get on top of platforms that are one box high by standing inside of your clone, holding your teleport, jumping, and right-clicking it on top of the platform. You can also get on top of platforms that are two boxes high by jumping and right-clicking your clone at an angle towards the corner that you're playing, activating it, jumping, and right-clicking inside of your clone, and now you're on top of the box. Euro updrafting is also really, really effective whenever you do it inside of your ultimate, because there's nothing that enemies can do about it. It's a little risky, but you can actually hide your teleport inside of a Yoru clone and TP inside of it. Make sure you're giving yourself enough time before the round starts to place down your clone. That way you can do splits with it or play crosses with it or whatever your team needs. If the enemy stops shooting your clones, go for a fake one. Make sure not to over aggro in Yoru ults. A lot of players try to force kills with it, but if you get enough info and the site is clear, you don't always have to keep extending. Just take your space for free and play with your team. I'm back. Whenever you're going for kills in Yoru's ultimate, always use a Bucky or a Stinger or any gun that has a fast equip time to give yourself the best I'm chance back. of getting a kill. Opping with Yoru is really strong because you can play off angles and then TP away without getting traded. You can TP or unult off of a fatal and get free kills because the enemy won't be able to hear you. 
You can TP or unult off of a fade tether as well because the enemy can't hear you and you can get some free kills. It's a bit more advanced, but you can also TP off of your teammates' flashes for really good kills. You can combo Yoro's ultimate and Gecko's ultimate for free kills. You can combo Yoro's ultimate and Club's grenade for much easier kills. Omen's blind doesn't affect Yoro while he's in ultimate, so combo it for even more free kills. You can stay inside of Kildor's ultimate until the very last second, and then TP out for safety. Whenever you're going for a fake clone, doing it with the pistol makes it much more believable. Joke's over. Whenever you hear a Phoenix ulting, you can counter ults and go camp his body for a free kill. I'm back. You can counter ISO it's ultimates you with Yoro's clone. You can counter ISO's ultimates with your it's ultimates you for a free kill. Combo Yoro's ultimates with Breach Stun for easier kills. I'm back. My territory, my you can counter Deadlock ultimates with Yoro Club. I have them now. And this next tip is directly from my Yoru Masterclass. Setting up your clone to hold an angle for you and then swinging off of it whenever it gets shot. Anchor the clone down and then when the round starts, activate your clone. And for them, they're going to see your clone over on head glitch here, like this. And then I'll play up here like this and then activate the clone. And then swing off of it for a really nice kill. Hey guys, I joined Rob's Yoro Masterclass and learned a ton. Here's my favorite strategy he taught. Every site pretty much has a front site and a back site. Teleporting near the front site, instead of always aiming for that spawn lineup, you get to support your team and help them get on site. Kind of like so. Time to jump. You get to clear bench, run truck, A short cubby, and even U-Haul. From here, if you really wanted to, Time you can to now jump. go ahead and teleport back site. Thanks to Rob's Yoru Masterclass, I'm now thinking of his flash and TP as well as how to use Yoru in a way that better supports the team. This has been by far my favorite tip and has helped me tremendously with my climb to Immortal. And my next tip is to join the Yoro Masterclass. It is 50% off, but only for the next 100 members to join. And here's how it works. Scroll down to the description and click the first link I provided for you. From there, I have a video for you and two payment link options. Click either of these. And then after that, hit join group and you're in. I've already had one student hit Radiant and he's only been in it for a month and it will never be this cheap again. So if you want to be a part of this, act now, don't miss out on the sale, and I'll see you inside. Whenever there's an enemy Viper ult, use Yoro's ultimate, find the Viper, and have your team shoot your body to get free kills on the Viper. You can body block people while in Yoro's ultimate. Not all of the time, but most of the time, once you unult with Yoru, they will hop off of the first tap. Yoru can drop weapons while he's in his ultimate by pressing 1 and G, and he can also pick them up too. You can TP away from Ray's ultimate at the last second to bait it out. You can also bait Ray's ultimates with Yoru clone. It's a bit more rare, but you can also bait a Ray's ultimate out with your fake TP. On defense, it's smart to have a rotation TP to the other site to rotate quickly and help your team. On attack, it's nice to send a TP towards your team while you lurk, get a kill, and then TP to catch up with them. Whenever you're ulting with Yoru, right after you unult, pop your fake TP to really confuse the enemy on where you're playing. Double pop flashing on Yoru is extremely strong. If you hear a sky dogging, you can send a teleport and dry TP on them while they're using their dog. If you hear a sky dogging, you can also ult on them if they're by themselves and unult for a free kill. If you hear a Sova droning and he's by himself, you can dry TP on him for a free kill. If you hear a Sova droning and he's by himself, you can ult and then unult on him for a free kill. 
You can fake teleport the enemy team as they're executing on the site to bait where they swing first. You can use Yarwell's clone to bait Skydog. If you're struggling with an op angle, you can use Yarwell's clone to bait the op shot and then push out. Combine a flash with Yarwell's clone to make it much more convincing. If you drop your guns before using Yarwell's clone, it goes much faster. The most effective way to get a kill with Yarwell's ultimate is to clone behind them as you unult. The best way to throw a Yoru flash as you're ulting is from behind them at their feet so it bounces in front of them and they can't turn from it. If you empty your magazine before ulting with Yoru, you can drop your gun in front of them and as they pick it up to use it, you can bait for a free kill. You can use Yoru's teleport to TP past your reach holds. You can get free kills on chambers by finding where their TP is located and then throwing a flash to bait them to TP and then unult on them for a free kill. You can bait out deadlock stuns while you're in Yoro's ultimate and sometimes use it to your advantage. You can strafe after teleporting with Yoru to dodge the enemy's bullets and get an easier kill. You can use Yoro's teleports to activate the sound on trap doors. You can use Yoro's teleport to TP past Fatal Tomorrow. Whenever you're using Yoro's ultimates, make sure to ping for your teammates to tell them where the enemies are playing. If the enemy team is running you down and you don't have any backup, you can throw Yoro's flash to stall and wait for your teammates. Flash high on doorways to make everything a one-way flash. You can use Yoro lineups to get to the enemy's spawn with this teleport. It's still hearable, but if you time it correctly, you can kind of mask the teleport sound with Yoru's flash. It's also really effective to TP off of other loud things in the game, like Breach. Off your feet! Breach's stun can affect Yoru's clone. Fade Tether does not affect Yoru's clone. Gecko Flash does not affect Yoru's clone. Omen's Flash does affect Yoru's clone. Reyna's Flash does affect Yoru's clone. Sova's Scan does not affect Yoru's clone. KJ's Ultimate does not detain Yoru's clone. Sova's Drone can scan Yoru's clone. You can tank Raze's Boombot with Yoru's clone. You can bounce Yoru's Flash off of his clone. Gecko's Wingman does not detect Yoru's clone. Gecko's Ultimate cannot detain Yoru's clone. Your ally Sova can dart your clone to scan people onto site. Make sure to play off angles often because you can TP out with Yoru really easily. Ult with Yoru right when the walls drop for a really fast play. I'll handle this. My ult's ready. This also helps you get past trips as well. I'm back. And my bonus tip for you is to join the Yoru Masterclass because it is 50% off, but only for the next 100 people, and it will never be this cheap again. Scroll down to the description, click the first link I provided. From there, watch the video, use either of the payment links, and then hit join group. So if you want to be a part of this, come join us, and I'll see you inside. If you enjoyed that video, watch this one next. And if you want to master Yoru, join the Masterclass. Link in the description.